conceiver to me. This is baleen from the mouth of a gray whale. It's how the gray whales trap their food, and many other species of whales also have baleen of different colors and different sizes and lengths, and it's how they trap their food. And uh, sounds of humpback whales that are called songs, and they actually have different dialects in different parts of the world, and we'll be talking about that. What I'm going to do is I'll draw pictures of their songs on the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take out my introductory recording here. And I've got a special recording that I've put together for this program today. It has the sounds of a number of different whales in here. And I'm going to get my slide.
we've heard we've heard a few sounds of different different kinds of whales. We heard some sounds from the humpback whale, uh, a little bit of the sounds from the gray whale, and I'm sorry that the sounds of our blue whale didn't come through very well. But we heard a little bit of the pilot whale and a little bit of the orca. And what I'd like to do now is to compare the sounds of humpback whales from different parts of the world. The first, the first segment that we're going to listen to will be um, we've recorded in Hawaii. It's about two minutes long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some pictures of the sound up on, on the paper here. One of the tools that scientists use when they're studying the sounds of whales, besides listening, is they, they, will, they will make uh, pictures that are called sonograms. And a sonogram is just a picture, picture of a sound spelled like this. Scientists that, that are doing research on, on whale sounds have special equipment that actually draws the sounds on a screen. I'm just going to do it with a, with a marker pen here. That will allow us to kind of show you where the phrases are. You can see how these sounds are different from the sounds of whales in other parts of the world. So we'll listen again first to uh, some humpback whales recorded in Hawaii. Lines me. We're going to talk about that in just a moment, but did you hear any sounds while you were listening that might have sounded like some other animal that you've heard somewhere else? What are, who, who heard, yeah? I heard an elephant. Elephant. Oh, who, who heard elephant sounds in there? Okay. Anyone hear anything else sound like some other animal besides an elephant? Yeah? This, this whole thing again repeats. And the sonogram then just gives us a picture of the sound. It tells us what the whale is actually doing beyond what we can hear. How many of you have heard the expression in one ear and out the other? Okay. How many of you have experienced that before? Okay. But who's ever heard the expression in one eye and out the other? Okay, so when, when you when, look at this, here's phrase two. It's not exactly the same, is it? But let's call it phrase two anyway, because it's very similar. And then here's phrase three again. And then here's phrase two, maybe with some modifications we can call that one. Let's call this 2A, 2B, 2C. And then here's phrase three again. And then there's a little ending that's sort of like phrase two, but not really. So we'll call that coda. Any musicians here? Anyone here a musician? Okay. Well, if you're a musician, you know that the coda means the ending of a piece or the tail. So we'll just We've got phrase 1A and B, phrase 2A, phrase 3, 2B, 3, comes back, 2C, 3, and then the coda. So the whale is, 
kind of organizing these sounds.